<laughs> yep. All right. And as you prepare, pre pre prepare, Lord, for spring break, can you also prepare for St. Patrick's Day? Chef Jeff of Smith's is preparing some appetizers perfect for the occasion. Check it out. Hello everybody, I'm <laughs> Chef Jeff from Smith's. St. Patrick's Day is coming right up and I've got a couple of recipes for you. Two little fun appetizers that your family's gonna love uh, for whatever small get together you decide to have or just by yourself. Super good, super easy. Let's get right into it. We're gonna be making little Irish potato bites. They're like little twice baked potatoes. They're so good. And then we're gonna make, of course, a lovely green fruit salad. Let's get right to it. Okay, so Irish and potatoes and that whole holiday and everything just goes together really well. And so we're gonna use our little mini uh, Yukon Gold potatoes for this recipe. You could use the little red ones as well. Uh, they work perfectly fine. So I've boiled these for about 25 minutes, just until they're fork tender. And um, once you do that, I'm gonna just go ahead and cut those in half and then I have a little scoop that I'm just going to scoop out here and as you can see I've got a lot of them done already. Um, usually this will make about 40 little bites. I think the recipe calls for 20 potatoes so um, really easy and enough to feed a crowd. Okay so we scooped out the inside. Don't go all the way down because we need a base for our, our, our uh, potatoes to, to stick to. Okay so once I get that in there I'm going to throw in some butter. I'm going to throw in some sharp cheddar cheese and then some corned beef. Now, of course, corned beef. Um, I just go ahead and get this from the deli at your local Smiths. Um, they have corn, uh, sliced corned beef you can get there, or you can just make your own corned beef if you want to go through that process. Maybe you have some left over. That's a good way to use it up. But once you get it in there, let's get some salt and pepper in there. Just go ahead and mash it together, like so. And it will just all come together nicely. We're going to end up throwing this back in the oven, so don't worry if the cheese doesn't melt or the butter doesn't completely get into it. Once we get to that point, then all we're gonna do is take that mixture and put right back into our little potatoes, just like so. And then I've got some uh, in the oven. My oven's 400 degrees. Let's see how we, we did. Let's check it out. And they look fantastic and they're done. They're melty and they look so good. Okay, so we're gonna go onto our fruit salad. Lucky for us, it's super quick. So all I have is some honeydew melon here. I've got some green pears. I've got some grapes, kiwi, green apple. We're gonna squeeze some lime juice onto it with our squeezer here. We're gonna put some orange juice and then honey as well, if I can get the honey to come out. Um, get my spoon. All right, and just give that a stir and then that is done. Okay, so let's finish up our our uh, St. Patrick's Day little appetizer feast here. We'll get our salad here. Maybe if you had some mint, it would be a good idea to put on top of here. And we'll put a couple of our little spuds on there. We're gonna go ahead and garnish them with some sour cream, like so. Of course, you can find all of these ingredients at your local Smiths. Thank you so much for shopping. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your St. Patrick's Day, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Always looks so good. Smith's Food and Drug has several locations across the valley. Smith'sFoodandDrug.com. You can find out more information there. Las Vegas now.